Hey guys, Eric here, Florida High Performance. Welcome back to our channel. It's been a long time, hope everybody's doing well. In front of me, I've got Dan's 2017 Camaro ZL1. Today's episode is gonna focus not just only on the build, but Dan's experience here at the shop. This car was built by another shop locally. He wasn't happy with the performance. He came to Florida High Performance, talked to me. We came up with a game plan, and the before and after results are out of this world. You're gonna hear more about it from Dan's perspective. We're gonna show you some dynographs, and safe to say at the end of this video, you're gonna be very, very impressed with just how well this car did. All right, so let's get right into the build. Now you're gonna hear more about this later from Dan's perspective, which is gonna be great. I simply just wanna tell you a little bit about the backstory, how it was when it came in and how it left. He had several concerns when he brought the car to us. It was built locally. It had a Whipple on it and some other modifications. Car was built well, but some of the combination of parts were suspect and some of the install quality was a concern uh, to Dan and I. So first thing we did, like any build, is we put the car in the dyno and we did a pull. Performance was poor, car was making sub 800 wheel, intake air temps were through the roof, turns out his heat exchanger pump wasn't even working. So there was a number of issues. We went to the drawing board, we looked at what he had, we looked at where he wanted to be and what he would need. And after consultation, we decided to go with a Magnuson 2650, get rid of that older Whipple, and improve a lot of what he already had. See, the issues he was having were, were twofold. They were the wrong parts and improper installation, and there wasn't a lot of thought put into his previous build. That's where Florida High Performance comes in. That's where our expertise comes in. So once we added the Magnuson 2650, got the meth injection working correctly, got the heat exchanger system working correctly, and after the addition of a few other items that we put on this car, we were able to get massive gains over what this thing came in with. I'm gonna put a graph up. You're gonna see a couple of things. You're gonna see his baseline results when we tested this vehicle as is. It was under 750, I think it was 724 rear wheel horsepower, just over 700 foot pounds of torque, very weak numbers for the combination he had. Uh, and then you'll see after we were done with it on E50, we actually made over 900 wheel, 902 wheel real horsepower and about 886 foot pounds of torque. Uh, again, we put our tried and true package together in this car. We put parts in this car. We know work. Everything is results based. We don't just take guesses. We're not just hoping things work. We went to the drawing board. We got the car right. And the results are exactly what they are on that graph. They speak for themselves. All right, guys. So you've heard my side of the story. Without further ado, Let's hear from Dan and what his experience was like here at Florida High Performance. And maybe, just maybe, you'll get to see this ZL1 out on the road making all kinds of cool noises. What's up guys, I'm Danny from Miami, Florida. Behind me is my 17 ZL1. I wasn't even in the market for a ZL1. I wasn't even, you know, I just woke up one day and I just started going through Facebook, you know, on Marketplace. And I just said, I gotta get it. So a prestigious shop, built the car. So I went over there to introduce myself and say, look, I just purchased this vehicle. I'd like some feedback on it. I'd like to maybe add a couple things, retune the car, just kind of get my touches on it. The shop was very standoffish. They weren't really like friendly, customer friendly. They were very like weight room friendly, leave a deposit, sit, we'll call you. I didn't like that. So after two or three times I've gone there, I spent a couple, couple thousand dollars with them. They were still just like, hey, wait there. I'm like, screw this, I'm done. Not to mention that I was getting walked by a Shelby GT 500s with E85 and a, and a pulley. I'm just like getting walked. I'm like, how is this possible? My buddy was like, hey, reach out to Eric at Florida High Performance. I said, okay. So he tells me, you need a Magnuson 2650. And I said, if he says I need one and it's gonna make me go faster, <laughs> we're gonna get a Magnuson 2650, whatever. Whatever it takes. So we both had our hearts set on a number. Car's on the dyno, and it hits the number. I mean, actually, it exceeds both of our expectations. As soon as the car came off the rollers, Eric calls me. And he's like, you want the good news or the bad news? I said, give me the bad news. He goes, you dropped the lifter. I said, what's the good news? You made 900 wheel. And he goes, hey, what oil do you have in the car? And I said, yeah, Eric, I told you, I think the oil I put in the car was too thin. I put 30 weight. He goes, yeah, that's way too thin. He goes, I'm gonna add a heavier weight. Sure enough, he put the correct weight and everything went away. 
He could have added 5,000 to the bill. I already approved it. I didn't, wasn't second guessing him. He could, the fact that he called me back and was like, you don't need lifters. How many people do that? Eight out of 10 people in South Florida would probably take advantage of a customer like that. I mean, it's happened to me a hundred times. And I'm having a blast. I love the car. I love it. I love everything about the car. If you want to go fast, come see Eric at Florida Performance.